We appreciate our families every day. Um, and um, sometimes it's not openly recognizable. So it's great to have this month where the whole nation and all of our military brothers and sisters and, and all of our great friends and uh, extended family members and you know our businesses and, and everybody across the nation you know, recognizes the military family. Now that's not to say that somebody who's single out there and not married doesn't have military family, because you do. Uh, and I get that all the time. Well, I don't have family, you know, fleet. I'm, I'm not married. Yes, you do. You have your parents, you have your sister's brothers, your cousins, your nieces, nephews. You have us, your fellow shipmate, because we are your family as well. So it's great to wrap that up in, in the month and, and take time to, you know, an extra special moment with your spouse, with your children, with your parents, you know, your siblings, you know, your family, and just have a night out, you know, and, uh, you know, a military family appreciation night out, even doing it virtually works. So I want to touch a little bit on social media, and we've talked about social media before, um, and I know we're going to go into another break really quick here. But uh, in the uh, opportunity at the Mick Pond's Leadership Mess Symposium, uh, day four uh, on the final day was my day to set up. And uh, each one of the four Fleet Mass Chiefs had a day to kind of select, you know, the speakers and develop the day uh, for the training environment. On Friday, on the final day, I asked Admiral Cutler uh, to come and speak as Chinfo. Um, she was here as Captain Cutler uh, on our CNE, CNA, C6F staff, and then went to DC and uh, had a couple of different roles, and then eventually promoted to Rear Admiral, and she is now the Chinfo. So I thought, what a great opportunity uh, to have her on that day and talk about social media. I think the most important thing that I pulled out of all of that training was, you know, on your social media site, like your Facebook site, definitely on Facebook, take off the year you were born and the, the city that you're from. Uh, because, you know, uh, again, hackers and things like that, particularly for our family members, you know, they uh, will look for people on social media that don't have like the secure uh, mode on so that anybody in the world could see your Facebook. So they could just type in random names and pull it up and then see your name, where you were born and the year you were born and then they can go and search for and access your social security, your birth certificate, all of that stuff, and steal your identity. And the last thing we want is for anyone to, you know, have their identity stolen. But absolutely our, for our family and, you know, in the military, because then that opens up a whole nother access, you know, to uh, secure environments. And so be very careful. Don't expose too much, self, too much of yourself. The intent is for our uniforms to be uniform. You know, in that word, in that definition of uniform and uniformity. And not so that we all look, you know, eunuchs, you know, and so forth, and that we're a bunch of marching people in the same, you know, and we all have the same haircut and all the same, all that. You know, that's not the intent. Um, but we do want to have a proper fit so that as we wear our uniforms, that we are looking fit in our uniforms, you know, fit for fit. And so, yes, we do want to have a little bit of a tailored look. We do want to have a proper fit for women and designed for women's wear and a proper fit designed for men and men's wear. Different heights, different shoulders, different hips, different structures. But the uniform, you know, uh, design, if you will, will be similar. So the, the female uh, jacket for E6 and below will modify into the dress blue jumper. It's only a matter of time, and this has been going on as a dialogue for decades. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.